What's going on YouTube? It is 3 a.m. for me right now and I can't sleep, so... And Black Dad is on maintenance, and I figured, you know, now would be a perfect time to show some gear stuff that you can do with BDO. Because honestly, um, I'm pretty, like, lazy with BDO, so, like, anytime I can find, like, a cheap way to gear up, I'll do it. Um, honestly, Black Desert is probably, like, the worst game for me because I'm so fucking lazy that, like, it's insane. Like, I should have been, I should have become a life skiller, honestly. But, here I am, um, gambling all of my silver away and fucking around. But, um, yeah, let's just go right into video. So, um, and this will be, like, very good for newer players, too. Um... Because, like, I know there's a lot of people out there that are pretty damn new and they won't even have their seasonal complete yet. Even though, like, it seems like every new season they make seasonal, like, like even easier. Like, it's crazy that, um, it's, I'm surprised they don't just give you full pen to Vala at this point. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm actually surprised durability is still a thing in Black Desert. But, you know, you can't win them all with these Korean grinders, right? Um, so, let's just jump right into it. Um, let me actually pick the boss variants of these uh, Tuvala gear. And I'm going to recommend Urgons. And this might come as a surprise for some people here. And a lot of people are going to disagree, but honestly, like, if you're a new player and you're sub, like, 5,000 hours, like, you are not going to be remotely even, like, close to be using evasion if you wanted to PvP. Hell, even grinding, sometimes it's sketchy because, like, you just get chunked to half your health out of nowhere. And there's, like, this bullshit, like, evasion thing going around where people are using, like, this heave pen because it's cheap. That's fucking bullshit. Um, you're just wasting your time. Just, just use DR for now, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many cheap alternatives to damage reduction. And you want accuracy anyways, so why not just have it now, you know what I mean? And, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say on this matter. Definitely better to do damage reduction as a newer player. And then later on, when you're, like, as rich as the big boys. Hell, I wouldn't even fuck around with evasion. Unless you have, like, dual fallen god armor. Because that's, like, the bare minimum nowadays to even, like, touch PvP. Or else you can get one shot anyways. So, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, the boss variant of the main hands. So, it's, it's a Kazarka. And it's a dandy greatsword. And then it's a Kudum shield. Um, and obviously, let's turn on all the journals now. Like so. So, these accessories here, I'm um, not sure if not many people know this, but um, if you do the entirety of certain quest lines, you get these accessories. Um, I think... Uh, Grana Necklace is obviously from Grana. Um, I think this is from Valencia. I think the rings are also from Valencia. And I think the earrings are from Kama Silvia. I could be wrong. But um, I only put these here because there's some people out there that, like, for some strange reason, they don't want to do seasonals. I don't know. Even though, like, it's, like, the best thing that has been given to us since ever you know what i mean like it's insane like it's like, like even if you already have a seasonal character done and you did it like the season before you gotta think of it in like a different way in the terms of that like every monster you're killing is gonna drop a piece of ore that you can sell for like a hundred thousand silver so this is adding that much more to your loot you know what i mean um so yeah just fucking do your seasonal and Let's say you don't play a lot like me, and you don't finish your first seasonal. Um, 
but let's say you got to level 60 and you graduated, right? So obviously the first choice would be a Compulsion Necklace FM or your seasonal reward choice. And for people that don't know, again, I know there's a lot of people that are just completely lost. Um, when you graduate your seasonal, which means you complete the whole season pass, and you talk to Fugger, he gives you this reward, you exchange it, and you pick from season whatever it is, and you just find the necklace. All right, this is 30 AP. This is probably like your biggest gains ever in your life from an accessory. Um, I know because like I think like a regular necklace nowadays is like 10 billion or something. So I don't know. Like even after the Capulcia necklace came out, like people still buy tets to blow up so they can make pens. So the price will always be expensive. You know what I mean? Um, and obviously hitting level 60, you should have a pen ring for free. You should have a pen earring for free. So let's say you're in this weird boat where you're, you graduated and you only have two accessories and you have this thing. And honestly, I would just save my silver and keep doing um, Jatina's quest line for one pen piece. Um, it would probably be the weapon. So let's say if you're succession, go ahead, do succession. If you're awakening, go ahead, go ahead and do awakening. But honestly, I think the best bet would be to just suck it up and play succession. Because like a lot of the classes out there are just amazing and succession. Um, you definitely have to check up on your class discourse on this, but like, um, for example, uh, I think the only two classes that I can think of that are dog shit in succession, as far as grinding goes, it's it would definitely have to be witch and wizard because like, um, but even then in like end end ultra end game, which uh, none of the people in this video should be at <laughs> would be able to grind with it in succession. You know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah. And even like Guardian, for example, like she's known for being like this awesome, easy grinder. But in the end game, she sucks because she's slow and she pretty much can't land the back attacks. Um, but there's still ways to play her, and I seem like it's, it's, it feels like people don't understand how Guardian works in the first place, anyways. But she essentially has like a 10% critical hit damage passives, and she pretty much does a lot of crit damage. So like it kind of evens out like later on once you get the right setup. But the most geared people I've seen in Black Desert, it's always been Witch Wizards and Guardians. So uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> They're chill grinders. Why not? Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what you're looking at here until you go into the next season. And that's when you can easily get another Tavala pen and a Tavala earring and a second seasonal reward of the Kaposha belt here it would get you up to 258. Um, and you could work towards the Jatina ring, uh, which is a crescent pen variant. And this is like an ultra, this this takes like 90 days of dailies, by the way. So this is definitely not a short term goal thing. I know, I think there's an event out right now that like doubles how much dust you get per day. So it might be a little less, a little more, who fucking knows, but. Um, let's just keep this at, for the sake of the video, uh, try or something. But at the end of the day, you want this, you want to finish the Jatina daily, obviously. Um, as far as weapons go, and let's say your succession, or hell, I think awakening weapons are, I think Kazarka pens are cheaper, and even the Ophintet pen is cheaper than the main hand weapon. Um, and this is a very contro controversial choice here because of the accuracy. But I feel like, um, especially since there's a quest line that gives you the bronze bolt, 
you're gonna have the accuracy anyways, so why not? <laughs> um, and obviously, if you're broke, um, you're probably not going to be using a open tet in the end game anyways. And if you think about it, like five billion or six billion is very cheap for a pen weapon. I think dandies are like eight to nine billion now, and Kazarka's around the same. While the Ofen will save you like two billion, but it'll give you more AP. So, um, pick your poison. Um, I could definitely see people using an Ofen and then just like saving it until they can afford a Tet Black Star. And then they could just use this Tet Black Star as like, or whatever Black Star they have at to just fail stack on as they play. Hell, you don't you don't have to use Krons, but you could, I guess, to Kron it up to Tet and use it. And then, you know, do the God Ard, whatever bullshit you want. You know, everyone's free to do what they want. <laughs> but Open Tet is very cheap. Um, uh, talking about, like, I mean, if you don't want to buy Open Tet, that's completely fine, too. Um, I still think um, getting your weapon up pen is probably the most important thing to do though for a new player um just so you can start one shotting like more areas and i think um this puts you in a spot to do renaros pretty quick um yeah definitely for sure you could do renaros with this but if not um yeah just get your fucking weapons up to pen like just or just buy open tet or just buy your awakening weapon. Um, armor, on the other hand, you can take your time with. Um, but I think the order of priority. Honestly, I would just get whatever is cheapest. Um, I know some people they'll be like, oh, just get your red nose up first because you can go for dual fall dual fallen god armor. But realistically, like getting the Kafir's level ten costs a lot of silver. Um, let's look at the price here. So seventy four billion to so that's twenty that's twenty billion silver to go to uh, base fallen god. <laughs> um, yeah. So the price here looks high. But all of this shit is just, um, this is kind of like free shit that you get. I'm not sure what the ring is called. I think I think it's just a crescent ring, if it's just a quest one. But it's pretty much a, what, 50 bill 40 something billion valued ring that you can get from doing dailies that you should be doing anyways. So why not? <laughs> And, um, yeah, definitely a good starter here. Um, again, um, if your guild is too lazy to power level you, and they can't, like, take, like, 20, 30 minutes to just invite you to a party to let you leech for a little bit, um, that's probably a pretty dog shit guild. If anything, you could take turns grinding with somebody at Polly's. Or, like, hell, if you're even, like, if you're in, like, a newbie guild, you can just tell everybody, like, hey, like, um, let's do our polys weeklies. I'll parlor over you guys for it. And then we'll take turns. And then you swap. And you do the 5,000. And then everyone gets their polys weekly done while they get their uh, seasonal character leveled up. Um, but, yeah, like, know your worth as a new player, too. Um, because a lot of guilds... They don't know how guilds work. And I should definitely make a new video about that. Because it seems like a lot of guilds don't know how guilds work. <laughs> but um, let's just keep on topic for this video. Um, but yeah, like when I was new, I used to buy like Orc and Rad belts and shit. Or no, I didn't even use Orc and Rad belt. I think when I was new, I used... Ancient Weapon Core. I think it was at like Duo or something because it was cheap. 
or try or something. Because I was that noob, you know, back in the day. But now that, you know, seasonal is out, you don't have to do that anymore. So you'll see a lot of people with the uh, Kaposha pen um, from the seasonal reward. And then the third seasonal, they'll pick the, uh, I think they'll either, they'll pick a, um, what's that? 1DP thing? Uh, but yeah, it's 1DP. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But, um, honestly, your best bet as a new player is to try to get one pen piece of gear as soon as you can. Um, and it doesn't have to be the body armor, but I guess it could be if you're doing a Jatina for it. And mainly this is because you can put Caphras into it and it'll juice up your DP. This is also one of the reasons why you want your pen weapon so fast. And then you can just do it to like Caphras 1 or something, based on how much money you can afford, or 3. <clears throat> and that'll juice your AP up even more, and your DP up even more. And then, you know, as you keep playing, um, let's say you save up for a pen hat while you're doing your Jatinas. Or you could, like, buy, um, let's say, uh, for example, let's say you play Striker or something. And you're like, oh, I want Evasion Boots. Um, now would probably be a good time to buy a base Muskins and learn how to fail stack. <laughs> um, because you, you got to fail stack on something, right? Um, so you work towards that. But I still advise people to stay Ergons. And I think going from here, um, you could slowly reform everything without penning it. And then your your gear will start looking like this. Um, I know it's, this is like Kafir's levels, but as you reform items in this game, um, the way this works is it's pretty much each... Caphras level is each reform level for the Jatina questline for gear. So you don't have to pen them, is what I'm saying. But it's nice if you do, though, because, you know, a pen's a pen. Um, you could do your um, Abyss 1 main quest, and you could pen another item. Um, I still think... Uh, let's look at the two, actually, before I uh, say something wrong here. So it's 334 DP. So it's the same regardless of what you do, I think. Yeah. It's 5 DP. Right. Okay, yeah, so it's 5 DP regardless of what you do. But I think the helmet should always be last. And I think the boots would be secondary pen you get. Um, mainly because it gives you more uh, DR. But again, it could be preference. You could go full damage and just get the, the fucking gloves to pen from your Abyss 1. But I think price-wise, Ergon's is the most expensive pen. So you might as well do it through the Abyss 1. Um, if you could argue silver prices. And you could grind to buy a helmet, and you could just fail stack a glove, or whatever the fuck you want to fail stack. And eventually your goal here is pretty much full pen armor, C4, everything, and you want, and then if you if you really want to, you could pen your cap, your uh, kudum. Um, it's only one DP, is it? So it's fifty-two. Yeah, you only get one DP from penning your kudum, and one could argue that you could just switch to Ofen or not Ofen Mover to get that AP juiced up AP, and you could just go like a really budget build. With like a Runaros. With a Narc. Something like that. And then you just stay 280 AP. 
until ultra end game. Oh, hell, you don't even have to use a high accessory for this. And then as you play and you grind, you could just slowly add Kafiris levels until you're at the spot of your dreams. And then you'll slowly swap out. Um, I mean, at this point, you should already know how to play the game. And I feel like if you have this, it should be very easy to afford like a Tungrad ring. And you just use huge fail stacks on it. Hell, this could be a Tungrad earring too. And this could still be your Kudum pen. And you'd still be in a good spot. Um, yeah, you're still 281 AP. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, I think I'm missing a Vel's heart in there somewhere. Yeah, you don't even need um, the Tungrad ring. You probably still have a Tavala ring, right? Oh, damn. So. Oh, wait. I'm just missing a Tavala earring. There you go. 281 AP, 353 DP. Um, with Kazarka. Or hell, if you're using a Ulfin, like I told you, you're already at 284. And you could tweak some of this shit. Let's say you have a ton grad. You would be at a very decent bracket. I think the bracket's 285, though. Um, Honestly, above 265 AP, I honestly don't notice the difference. Like, I'm not a calculator guy, and I'm fucking lazy. So, you could definitely do this. Like, tech, don't be afraid to try to tap tech accessories. Um, Hell... I know some people will be like, yo, don't waste high fail stacks for this shit. And the game gives you so many crons that you could literally cron a Tet accessory and just use that for the rest of your BDO career. You know what I mean? And then every time you make another Tet, you can just use... You can try a pennant, I guess, when you're feeling wild or something. But um, honestly, this would be a very good start for people. And um, as pretty much from this point on, like once you're above 280 AP, um, you could just literally start. You don't even need to worry about AP anymore. You could literally just start adding Kafris to stuff. And then eventually you're at Dual Fallen God. With the dream, right? Um, what gear score is this? Is this a ratio? 650 gear score. And this is when you're probably ready to start joining tier 2 guilds. <laughs> um, I think there's some guilds that they'll, they're like sister guilds to the tier 2 guilds and they'll take you too. And you guys are just like fucking fodder for the 2v1s. <laughs> um, and you could do tier 1s, I guess. Um, keep in mind, tier 1 guilds, they also they, they still get a good amount of money um, if your guild master knows what they're doing. Um, so I think the way it goes now is if you control one piece of territory, um, you can place for siege, and you can just let your siege tower die, and your guild will get money. And I think everybody, it's like a participation reward, I think it's like 300 mil or something. And then, that's just a nice chunk of silver every now and then. And if you guys win or lose, so what? Whatever. You, you get some PvP in. You know, there's something to kind of work towards. You know what I mean? Um, some people, they'll argue to not go for pet, uh, Fallen God Wrath of Bat. Um, so let's, let's actually look at this. So this is 253 DP. And then you just slowly add all the Kafras up one at a time. Um, I probably wouldn't do this unless, like, you want to see a nice number, I guess, but getting everything in for 6 seems more reasonable than jumping up to Kafir's 10, but at that point, it's like you're just increasing your DP at this point. You know what I mean? Um, and, again, if you need something to fail stack, 
it's definitely good to start working on an evasion set in case you want to do um you know, throw and play striker or something, you know, who knows? <laughs> um if not, you could fail stack on a black star weapon. Um for the pen juiced up AP. Because that's like the most valuable thing you can fail stack. Or you could just keep the Kazarka be at 285 AP and then start working on like better accessories like distortions or something. Or you could just replace. Oops, I need that weapon back. <laughs> you could just replace one of these, um, this earring here. Uh, you could. I think that the narcs are actually really good because they're so cheap, and they're literally forty million each, and it gives you DP. So why not? Um, I think narc is like the cheapest pen valued accessory for gear that you can go for um because you're only losing like six billion per tap and at this point like uh keep in mind this is like all random but i've probably made like 10 tet narc accessories in my whole video career life and i'm fucking lazy at grinding too like um some advice i've gotten from people throughout the years um, they'll say that, like, accessories up to duo is very good money. Um, and that's where all the money is at. Um, and one guy, he told me that, like, his playstyle was he'll grind through the week. And on the weekend, all he does is enhance. He'll build fail stacks. He'll uh, fucking fail stack on black stars. He'll, And he told me he was, like, the first, like... He was like the first person on NA to hit pen um black star and I was like, damn, how did you do that? And he's like, Yeah, I just I literally just grind on the weekdays and I just enhance on the weekends. And that's it. Um and obviously, you know, it, it won't go as uh planned sometimes and maybe your gear will look something like this since you're um chilling, I guess. Here's the Kaposha pen. And you're still 281 AP. <laughs> so, um, not much of a difference here, except it's cheaper, and you didn't risk for the Tungrad ring. But if you did want that higher bracket, you know, it's always there. <laughs> um, hell, you could go for Tungrad belts too, if you really wanted to. Um, I don't think it grad necklace even does anything. Yeah, you're pretty much better off fail stacking. Not fail stacking, but attempting a pen right here. Um, but like, if you really wanted the 300 AP dream, you could literally use newer shield with the Tungrads that I was talking about. This is Kaposha, by the way. And then all of a sudden, your 301 AP bracket is within reach. <laughs> and this is all free. This is pretty much half freemium gear, if you think about it. Um, and Nuvers are cheap now for some reason. So. We're talking 300 AP, 340 DP. You're still going to get one shot in PvP. So as you play, you'll you get the Capris up. And then all of a sudden, your 666 gear score. And then as you keep going, you'll keep juicing up your AP like so. And maybe one of these days you'll hit a pen accessory. But who fucking knows? <laughs> I still think the Narcs other way to go for like your first pen because they're so cheap um and like there's some people out there that talk about um so there's this guy i was talking to and he was like um yeah like 
I I want to invest my build so that nobody can kill me. And I think the only way to do that is evasion. Um, and it it's it looks very weird. It's like you use like a green shield, and it's pretty much like a scuffed DP build. So it'll be like it'll, it'll look something more like this, I think. And I don't I don't think they would use narcs. <laughs> They'd probably use distills or something. And it gets really expensive. Like I think this is the like meta meta um build or whatever you call it. Maybe a turtle belt? No, it wouldn't be a turtle belt. It's probably be an orc and rad belt, honestly. But you're giving up so much AP in hopes that they can't hit you with enough accuracy. So it's like, um, at this point, like, is this even worth it? I, I don't think so. Like, um, even if you had like the dream, like, how the fuck do you even get 300 AP? I think like the minimum AP you want is like. 281. So, like, I don't even know how you would even reach this unless you're like full pen. See, so it looks something like this. And it would be an ultimate. It would be one of the ultimate shields, I think. So, you can. It's a. Uh, is it militia shield? Because I think militia gives you the most evasion. But, like, you're losing. The 281 bracket. So I think like some of people they're like weird about it. I think that Bankert's but the accuracy would be better if you're doing like this goofy evasion hybrid build. Like um, I think a full evasion you would probably end up 265 as like a normal person. Yeah. Even like a cheap build, this looks normal. So later on when you're rich, you can fuck around with evasion. <laughs> See, look, you're above 265 AP. <laughs> and you have a lot of fucking evasion. Um, But yeah, this is like a goofy setup. Uh, I think reformed Val's heart, Val's heart now gives you four more DP. Which is fucking hilarious. So it's like... um, Because I was thinking that like... The main complaint with BDO right now is that, like, PvP is all over the fucking place, and, like, people are too squishy in PvP. So I figured, you know, they would eventually add an upgrade that raises people's DP. And I'm thinking, um, they're starting to roll towards that way, and people will get more, uh, defensive as we get, like, the new Fallen God sets. And I'm, I think some people said, and again, it's all rumors, they said that, like, there's going to be, like, the Fallen God, like, evasion boots and damage reduction boots that you can pick. But I still feel like in the future of BDO, they're going to just merge it all together anyways and then just have the offhand as the, the switcheroos, you know what I mean? But I feel like this would be, like, a goofy evasion set that people do. And obviously, you know, you can get it stronger the more you invest into it, I guess. But that's what someone told me. Uh, word of mouth, I guess. So if you want, like, an ultimate tanky PVX build, here you go. <laughs> but, um, again, um, I still feel like this is a very good start for people. You know, just having kaboshas or and working on your crescent ring. You have your kaposha necklace. You have your kaposha belt. And Tivala. They're coming out with the new um, storm cloud update too. So like a lot of this I think there's going to be a new pen earring that you're supposed to be going for. So I think it'll be like the narc equivalent of pen. 
So eventually more people will eventually look something like that. Like, just based off of premium gear. <laughs> um, I definitely, like, agree, though, that, like, if you're a brand new player, you should just get full pen gear first. And then aim for the tech accessories. And nowadays it's so easy that, like, let's say you're not even full pen yet, right? So let's say you're Tet Gaieth, uh, Ergon Shoes, and Begs. They're at Tet. And you're still reforming your shit. Uh, am I forgetting something? And it looks something like this. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah, you probably wouldn't even have your crescent up yet. It'd probably be like level two or something. And you probably won't even have like all of your journals done. And this is completely fine too. Because like if you think about it, like um and if you're tired of like centaurs, um I'm positive if you ask your guild hey can you guys take me to castle ruins so i can get more silver they will like there's probably some dude in your guild that's like 285 ap that's like tired of farming orcs and he'll take you to castle ruins and what's funny about castle ruins is that the weapon cooldowns like every time a weapon drops you can use a weapon and you grind at the, a good speed and then the next weapon drop someone else gets it and so forth like you only need 310 dp because i've done it before on a witch and i was fucking around and i found out that like you can literally do it with 310 dp and obviously if you're reforming your shit like you're supposed to be it'll look something your dp should be looking something like this so um this is the reason why a lot of guilds they don't push, they won't invite you to the guild unless you're 600 gear score. Because if they know you're not 600 gear score or like above 580 or whatever, like let's say the Vel's Heart's not even there, right? Like above 580 or like even like 600 gear score is like the new, like, hey, you just made it past a tutorial of Black Desert. And yeah. Um,. Uh, this is definitely achievable, as you can see. Like, even if you don't even do your Jatinas, and for some odd reason you just decided on, like, buying Tets, I guess. Like, you're still above 580 gear score. And this is like 25 bill. This is like grinding for, like, once a week for, like, two weeks. And then you're just collecting bullshit that you sell, like, from dailies. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video does help you guys out. Um, and keep, uh, keep in mind, I do recommend trying to enhance tech accessories. Um, like, just say, you could say fuck it. And even if you're not, like, an enhancer, um, I highly recommend people to try to enhance. Like, just spend, like, 500 mil and just be like, okay, um, I'm going to use all these accessories here that I buy 500 mil, and I'm going to see how many I can get to pry. And then next week, I'll try to see how many I can duel, and so forth. Um, and you'll be surprised how easy it is to make a Tet accessory. Like... With like I liquidated my silver randomly and I made I had one billion and I'm literally farming at Sherikons and I made like six hundred mil and then I started like selling random shit in my storage and I had one billion and I bought a bunch of narcs and I just made a tet narc and that's what I'm using right now. And I also made a tri narc and I was like fuck it, I'm gonna use like a hundred and 
30 fail stack on this next tet and it, it like blew up so i was like fuck <laughs> but i almost made two tet accessories with one bill and that literally saved me so much time and i don't know why people are so afraid of enhancing but um when you start doing stupid shit like i did and because i was running i was running two ton grads with a ton grad ring and I was just using Kaposha Ring because um, I'm lazy. And my gear was looking something like this. And I had a ton of grad belt too because, again, I just found out how easy it was to, like, make tech accessories. And I think I had an open because I was playing Succession Mystic. So I was literally at 281 AP. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've done some very stupid things in the past. Oops, I forgot all my journals. But yeah, I was like, wow, I'm actually a pretty decent AP now. Because I was 285 AP. And I was looking something like this. And I was like, damn. So this is where, like, um, this is where I fucked up a lot on as I was playing BDO. And honestly, since this video has gone this far, I might as well give you more advice, right? Um, definitely keep your placeholder tets. Um, even if one day you're like, you know, I'm going to quit Black Desert. I'm going to blow up all my shit. Because <laughs> pen or nothing, right? <laughs> so, you know, at this point, it's like, you know, if I, was, if I had just kept that shit, I would have been fine. Like, I should have just... Enhanced backups. <laughs> um, and another uh, piece of advice, though, like regarding like enhancing wise, um, I think nowadays it's best to enhance like whatever's worth the most. So, Black Star would definitely be a good spot to start to build fail stacks on because. Um, I still feel like a lot of the times in this game, um, some people, they'll be at this gear score and they'll struggle to progress past that because they refuse to enhance. So they'll go through like six to six months, like a year of playing and they They'll probably grind like one hour a day, and then like these are like this is like me by the way, like I don't even go through all my aggress every day. Like I'm so fucking lazy, and it's like damn, um, how do I progress? And will I ever get a pen accessory? Like, if you think you're gonna hit a pen accessory with a hundred fifty stack that the game gives you. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, we had a Vels. So my gear was looking pretty juiced. And I was at like 287 AP Awakening. Damn. And I was being really stupid. And I said, fuck BDO. I'm going to blow up all my shit. And I'm literally back at Narcs again. I'm at one Narc and I'm using Bronze Bolt. Because I like the accuracy, and I still have my Ulfin. <laughs> so my gear looks something like this. Wait, what happened to this? Oh, the belt's trolling me. Push the belt. There we go. This is what this is what my gear is right now. I think I have no Kafras in my shit because I pulled all my Kafras out to buy a pen helmet. Because I had a fucking evasion helmet, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna commit to the DR. Because it's cheaper. And then one day. One day. Because this shit happens all the time. To get a nerf evasion or something. And then all the evasion shit's going to be cheap again. <laughs> um, for example. There's also some players out there. That fully believe in playing succession. And using Nuver. Just so they can hit the 300 AP bracket. Easier. So it'll be like a ton grad earring. 
at set of another uh, crescent ring pen with a Tuvala earring. And then they'll have their Kafras in there, so they can hit 301 AP. And then they'll try to, like, they'll be like, oh, I'm ready to kill every player in the game now, because they have 301 AP. Um, and that does make sense. <laughs> and then, you know, obviously with the Jin Vipers. Like so. And Ulfin gives you more crit, too, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, with Knockdown. Resist. Shoes. <laughs> and, yeah, this definitely feasible, too. Um, this is kind of where, like, all your gear starts climbing up. And you're making like 1 billion an hour or whatever. And you've left the nest. <laughs> um, yeah. Definitely hitting 600 gear score nowadays is going through... It's pretty much beating the tutorial phase of BDO. So, again, I do understand that there are new players out there. For sure. And some of the gear, it'll look, it'll look something like this. So let's go back down to our Tavalas. Hell, they probably won't even have a second Tavala. They'll probably have, like, the fucking quest ring. Where is it? Yeah, I don't even know where it is. I forgot what it was called. Sandgrain? Yeah, there we go. And they won't even have a Tungrad earring. They'll have, <laughs> they'll have two Tavala pens. Maybe one Kapusha? Is a Kapusha earring? Yeah, one Kapusha earring. Maybe one Kapusha ring at base level or something. And probably like a goofy belt. like Because they thought it was a good idea to get um, the cheap ass belt like I used to do. And it'll probably be like a fucking ancient weapon core at try or something. Because <laughs> definitely, like, I know some people that are probably in this phase right now. And it looks something like this. And we'll have, like, the life hit, the life leech weapon on. Or is it? <laughs> Yeah, MP recovery. There we go. Get some MP recovery. <laughs> and they're like, oh, look look at me. I'm draining mana. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was definitely here when I was a new player. Having a uh, Asula fucking eye necklace. But yeah, it was definitely fun playing the game when it was like this because you're like, damn, it's pretty fucking awesome. Look at this cheap gear I can get. I bought it. Ancient Weapon Core. And I, instead of having a Tavula, or a Asula. What's Asula at, anyways? I think I was too afraid to enhance my Asula belt, so it was it was always base anyways. So it was, back in the day, it looked something like that. Like a pride weapon, a green weapon or something. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I think I used berries for the longest time. Like a tri berry sword. But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty great. <laughs> With the Van Gertz. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's not like video isn't like this anymore. Like you shouldn't even be wasting your silver or time with any of this. You should have your Kazarka Tet. I know some people out there they're probably like um full Tavala like this. And um, they have two Kapusha belts at Pen. And they'll probably be like, yo, fuck this Kazarka weapon. And they probably have like a Black Star. They're probably like, oh, let's buy a Black Star. And they waste like 11 billion on this. And I mean, it's not really a waste, but later on they're like, oh, I want to play an Awakened class. Oh, damn, I need a Pen Dandy now. And then they'll change their mind. Oh, I want to play a Succession class. So they'll have, like, Kafras into the, their Awakening weapon, and they'll be like, oh, I don't want to play Awakening anymore. I'm going to 
play uh, Succession now, and then they're stuck in this weird re-rolling thing. Like, I know tagging is out there, but I know some people out there, they're probably like, damn, I'm just going to use the fuel to re-roll. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely nothing wrong with this, guys. Because <laughs> you can still solo trees with this, and you can contribute to like helping other players out and grind. Um, hell, even with a Kazarka pen, I could see someone soloing trees with this and just boosting their guild mates up, and then eventually you and your guild, you grow some balls in your castle ruins, and then maybe in like three months, um, you guys start placing tier one towers and contesting the other shitty tier one guilds out there. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of my video like good lessons I've learned was from like the tier one guilds because a lot of them have like quote unquote like retired they're retired from the tier two siege scene and they just want a chill environment so they'll join a tier one guild <laughs> and just play that way you know what I mean um but yeah um, hopefully this video, I know this was a very, very long video, but um, I felt like this is some much needed information for the game. Um, I've written like a really long Steam guide. Um, and another one of my like tips for the game was to just use your loot scrolls. Um, because I think I have like 300 to 400, probably 500 loot scrolls right now. And a lot of times I'll ask my guild when I was a new player, somebody was like, oh, just save your loot scrolls for when you're at this next spot. And look at me now, I have like dog shit gear because I was too afraid to use my loot scrolls. Um, hell, right now I'm using Agris at Shurikans and I'm using like the Agris coins at Shurikans because I'm working on my infinity potions. And some people would be like, oh, you should save it to fuck that, dude. Just just use everything now to get as... You pretty much just want to learn how to liquidate everything. And loot scrolls are like your fastest ways to catch up to other people. So you might as well use them. Um, hell, even if you're grinding seasonal fucking ore from... Uh, what is it called? Uh, like Fogans or Centaurs or something. Like... Why not use loot scrolls to get a few more accessories or something? Or more blackstones and Kafris. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, if you have questions, be sure to comment. I don't really have a following, so... Uh, any comment, every comment I'll see. So, Alright. Good luck out there in BDO.